Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to update the network adapter, the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet adapter. And this will be a complete solution. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to update your network adapter. If you have any kind of internet or network issues, unable to use the internet, this will be very helpful. You don't have to watch any other video to update the drivers. And it will work on Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11. So here in the start icon just do a right click and then go to device manager. So I'll tell you all the ways to update the drivers. Now once the device manager is open, look for network adapters. So I just have found it below monitor. I'll click on that. And here I have many options. The only thing which we are looking for is something which is related to wireless or Ethernet or Internet. So if you have a wired connection, look for Ethernet. And if you have a wireless, look for the wireless one. So I have found it here, the Intel Wireless AC950 160 MHz. So I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. Now the very first thing which we need to do here is to check the driver date. And we will just go to the driver tab and I can see the driver, the driver version is on 29th of June and the version is right here. So in if in your case, if you see a very older date like 2016, 17, 18, that means you have to update the driver. So here we will click on update driver and search automatically for drivers. And if it says the best driver for your device are already installed, not a problem. We will close this and we will do in a different manner. We were not able to update through this one, but we will click on this again. And this time we will select browse my computer for drivers. And here we will select, let me pick from a list available. Now, if your Wi-Fi or ethernet was working fine earlier, and you don't know what exactly happened to drivers and suddenly your internet is not working. In that case, you can have all the drivers here. So my recommendation would be one, check all the drivers one by one. So I can see the top one is here and I can select this one as well. So I'll go with the bottom one and I'll click on next and then I'll try to restart the computer and see if my, if your Wi-Fi is working fine or not. If it's not, then select the top, top one. And if you have, no matter you have how many drivers, if you have three, four drivers, try all one by one. So in this manner, you will get a correct driver, a compatible driver for your Wi-Fi or the ethernet if your internet is not working. So that's the best way to get your driver back which was working fine earlier once you have done that i'll click on i'll just click on cancel so by trying both the ways if by trying both the ways like updating and uh, looking for previous drivers didn't work then i would recommend to close this and before closing it you need to take this number please make sure you have noted down somewhere that um, whatever the driver name whatever the network adapter name is here. So I can see I have Intel wireless, so I'll open the browser, any browser which you use. And I'll just minimize so that we can look it. And here I'll type Intel wireless AC9560 driver download. Now you need to do the same thing as I'm doing it. Now I can see intel.com intel wireless 9560 downloads. So I can click on that. So it's a official website of Intel and here I can, I can download, you can see the date. So I'm using the older version. Remember I was using June 29 June 2021 and now we have got the latest driver which is 1st of Jan 2022 so I can install this and I can install this one as well that is also a latest driver 
so from here you can click on view details and we can download the driver so i can see i have windows 10 and windows 11 so from here i'll just simply click on download or 64 bit and i'll accept it and i'm able to download the driver the latest driver successfully now if in your case if you're unable to update it then my recommendation would be to take the model number which will be real uh, of the laptop if you're using dell hp uh, lenovo any any version so you can take the model number and go to the manufacturer's website like if you're using dell then go to dell.com like this and from there you can go to services and try to download like dell driver download like this so here i can select drivers and download and you can mention the service tag and, and from here you can download according to your model number same goes with hp as well hp driver download i'll type hp driver download and i'll hit enter and i see software and drivers support.hp.com so i'll click on that and from here i can download the drivers let me just maximize it so from here if you're using a laptop you can select laptop and you can mention the serial number which you will find it at the back of your laptop or a desktop and mention it and you will get all the important drivers to download from the manufacturer website same goes with lenovo lenovo driver download and hit enter you will get the support.lenovo.com so this is the best way to download the drivers because you are going directly to the manufacturer's website and trying to download so here you can select <clears throat> pc you can also use the detect auto detect product so you can click on that and if you're using a lenovo pc this will automatically check which version of which model of computer you're using and you can download the drivers so in this manner you can download the drivers no matter even if you have any kind of drivers uh, sound drivers graphics or internet network adapters in the same manner you can download all drivers for your laptop or a desktop i hope this video is very helpful for you please hit the like and subscribe and please let me know in the comment section if it has helped you and i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day